I didn't disagree with him. The notion was in, that he's liked NVIDIA very much and said over and over again that people should own NVIDIA, that NVIDIA was too cheap versus a lot of the stocks that people were buying. And then NVIDIA goes from 100 to 150 very fast. And what he's really basic, basically doing is giving NVIDIA stock a speed, speeding ticket. He's saying, listen, this is not what it should be and that you've got the wrong kind of owners, which is what the casino mentioned. I, I can't disagree with that as much as I like NVIDIA. Uh, a lot of people, I have an Action Alerts Wednesday call, mm. and a lot of people said, you know, Jim, you like NVIDIA so much, why aren't you in NVIDIA? And I always come back and say, wait a second, we're in Adobe, we're in Facebook, mm. we're in Western Digital, we're in Alphabet, we're in Apple. You can't own them all or you would have been slaughtered Friday. And that's what we've been trying to avoid. Adobe, by the way, down very big on a downgrade that's yeah. totally based on valuation. I don't like historic valuation calls. Why? Because a lot of these companies' businesses have accelerated. If you go back to my interview with Anil Bushri, who is the CEO of Workday, he is telling you that cloud adoption has gotten far faster, faster. There had been a big cloud adoption in finance, and obviously in tech. He's saying now healthcare and retail, which are very big sectors, are moving aggressively on the cloud. So what that tells me is be careful downgrading Adobe if the story is morphing into a more longer term view, because they are how you do a commercial cloud uh, marketing, and I like them. By the way, I think that Salesforce has come down enough, hmm. and I would initiate a position in Salesforce. Now, when I say that on uh, Twitter, people say, that people come in and say, I bought all of the Salesforce at this level, and now you crush me. So I say, if you do that, you might as well be shorting Salesforce. I am not talking about you. I'm saying if you want to buy 200 shares of Salesforce, you buy 50 here. Hmm. 